I love my friends. There's a guy in Glasgow, Harkins, is a great pal of mine. Had him since the 60s. My friends, when I met him, he was working in a bar. And when I went in, and I, was, I said, a pint of McEwan's, please. And he, he started doing this. Yeah, here we go. Oh, thank you so much, thanks. <laughs> ching, ching. <laughs> there you go. I said, what was all this? He said, oh, I'm an actor. I, uh, I'm doing a one-man play, Oscar Wilde. He said, and women had bustles in their dresses in those days. So when I'm playing the women, I'm going to do the bustle. He said, I won't be wearing the clothes, but I'll do the bustle thing. I said, that's very good. I'm thinking, I like this guy. He sounds okay to me. And as the more I got to know him, the more I realized he was stoned all the time. He hadn't had a pupil in his eye for about four years. <laughs> I realized why he didn't work very much, you know. He was one of those stoners you meet that frighten the life out of you. you know, oh, Bill. He always did that. He said, a man gave me two yellow pills last Monday. Oh, fucking amazing. Lost a pair of my legs for two days. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Didn't even know the guy. And I used to do that as well. We'd go to concerts. Here, try that. Oh, fucking sleeping. Missed the whole concert. <laughs> Getting wakened up in my duffel coat. What the fuck happened? No. So, <laughs> Harkins became my friend. And as I say, he was an actor, but he never seemed to work very much. But most actors don't work very much, you know. In Los Angeles, people say, I'm an actor. You say, oh, really, what restaurant? Because there are waiters, you know. So, but I went in with two actors, two Scottish actors who work all the time in the pub, and, were, and he loved them, and we're getting on like a house and fire, very sort of actorish, ha, 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 that kind of stuff. And he said, do you boys want to come up to my flat later? It's a Scottish Cup final tonight on the telly. I've got a lovely wee telly. You can come up and get some beer. We'll get pissed, have a laugh. Ah, sure. Went up to his flat. It was the most awful flat you've ever seen in your life. It's overpowering smell of cat's piss, you know. And he didn't have a cat. <laughs> but his, his window opened onto the roof. Every cat in Glasgow used to come in and piss in his house. So why'd you leave the window open? She has to get the smell of cat's piss out. <laughs> And there was litter and shit all over the floor and milk bottles with things growing in them and all that. Weird, weird shit. And a wee horrible telly. The black and white eight-inch screen was sitting on the couch trying to... See. And a, a sort of black goalpost keeps coming across. <laughs> what the fuck? Snow. What's he... I don't have a lot of this. So I think, oh, I'll fix it, it's no problem. It was a nightmare, I was trying to get pissed. He says, any of you boys, why are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, fool, I've never, oh, three breakfasts. I couldn't fucking wedge an after eight in here. I'm just as full as fools. Full. Nonsense. He goes in the kitchen. There's a lot of crashing and banging and smoke coming out. And he comes in, <laughs> he out lads. And he's got a fried egg on a spatula. <laughs> We go. Right. I should look at him. He's off, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he offers it to John, who was the most sort of delicate, campy looking one. John, he went, I don't appear to have a plate. <laughs> and his answer will go to my grave with me. He said, Oh, don't be so fucking bourgeois. Bourgeois to want a plate. So I take it the working class eat fried eggs in their hands, you know. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe you wrap your tie around it or something. <laughs> but he, the, I loved him. He was a lovely guy. He was always all cuts, you know, on scrapes. You know, those guys are always drunk. <laughs> they always fall on the way home, you know. <laughs> they scrape the following day. You say, oh, you cut your head. Oh, did I? Oh. I said, he came in with a bandage in his hand. What happened to you? I was just fucking walking home last night. Some bastard stood in my fingers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
I've, my best friend died last year, a guy called Danny Kyle, and he, he, he was the, my dearest, dearest, oldest friend. But the thing I loved him doing most, he said he was in a pub once, and there was there were a strange pub, he didn't know anybody, and there's a load of guys over here, and they keep talking to this other guy and calling him Spider-Man. Hey, Spider-Man! Hey, Spider-Man! And he says, why, why do they call him Spider-Man? And he says, wait until we shut, you'll see. <laughs> the, the pub shut and the guy came out and he was going up the road. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Spider-Man. <laughs>